The Cambridge Designscape Visualizer is a digital tool that allows the user to see how different patterns and configurations of pavers would look in the vicinity of a house, garage, swimming pool, or in a variety of other landscaping situations. A photo of a property is loaded into the program, which can then be used to create a 3D image complete with digitally generated Cambridge pavers. After launching the program, a preliminary screen will appear with four option buttons. The New Project button launches a new project. Open Project button launches a previously saved project. Sample Project button gives the user a stock photo to work with. Calculator button brings you directly to the calculator part of the program. To begin a new project, click the New Project button. After a photo is chosen, it will appear on the screen. You are now in the field defining mode. Next, click the Add Field pop-up menu in the palette and choose Add Field. A new rectangle will appear on your photo. Move the points of the rectangle to adjust its shape to highlight the area which you want to pave. Click on a red line to add a new dot. These dots define the edge of the three-dimensional field within which you will work. It may be necessary to add more than one field to your photo if you want to pave two separate areas. Click the Pattern tab to change the scale of the pavers in the photo. Use the Scale slider. To rotate the pavers within the field, use the Rotation control. To change the pattern from the default setting, click on the button directly above the image of the pavers in the palette window. A pop-up menu will allow you to choose other paver patterns by number. After you have chosen a pattern, click on the image in the palette. A pop-up menu listing possible colors will appear. Choose a color. Your color choice will appear in both the palette and the photo. To add a border to your field, use the pop-up menu to choose a paver for row 1. Up to four rows can be added. The color of the border can be manipulated in the same manner as the rest of the pavers in your field. The Elements tab will allow you to add a variety of three-dimensional landscaping elements, including circle kits. Use the Add Element button to add an element to your photo. The final tab labeled View controls several tools designed to adjust some of the subtle visual aspects of the photo. To add a wall segment, click the Add button in the View palette and choose Add Wall. A short wall segment will appear on your image. Move the points and add new points just like when you were manipulating the paver field. Click on the image in the palette. A pop-up menu listing possible colors will appear. Choose a color. Your color choice will appear in both the palette and the photo. Click the 2D tab at the top of the document window. This will bring up a view of the paver patterns you have used in your project. This view is useful for previewing the pavers during the color selection and pattern selection process. Project Details holds client information and notes may be stored for easy access. You may enter in values directly into the Amount column of the Project Item List or the Note fields. You may enter the area or length, depending on the item type, directly in the Project's Item table. Client information can be typed directly into the Client Information boxes in the middle of the window. Finally, any notes about the project may be typed into the Notes box at the bottom of the window or added to an individual item in the Project Items list. The Calculations tab in the Document window. 
This mode allows the user to print a listing of all the items and materials needed for the project in a single window. You may also use the calculator without the visualized part by clicking the calculator button at the startup of this program. For additional information, please contact Cambridge Pavers at www.cambridgepavers.com.